Good morning everyone. So you're probably thinking it looks like evening time and I know it does. It's because I have been really extremely poorly. Um, I haven't had a vlog out yesterday which was Sunday. Today is Monday. It's Monday morning um, because I had a severe migraine. Like a migraine that I haven't encountered for a, probably about eight months. Like a really intense... I've basically been in bed for over 40 hours, I'm not even joking, like a ridiculous amount of time. When I went to bed Saturday night, I was in bed all day yesterday, all evening, and then I've literally just got myself up, um, well I actually got up at quarter past three this morning, it's like, um, it's, well, it's ten to five now in the morning, um, because obviously I've had so much sleep, ridiculous amount and I've just been so poorly um, yesterday I was in bed all day Graham basically took over I had shooting pains from here all the way like behind my neck behind my ear and honestly that did not go away till about I don't know I kind of got myself up about half six um, last night and I still didn't feel 100% thing is when I get a, like a really bad migraine I have really bad nausea as well and I was throwing up in the morning and I was constantly throwing up and um, it felt like it was just relentless I couldn't even drink water I haven't I barely eaten the last two days it's been awful um, so yeah that's why I'm up at stupid o'clock because I've had so much sleep I and wide awake at 3 a.m. <laughs> so I've just been editing my vlog from Saturday because obviously being in bed yesterday I had no video, nothing. So I'm really sorry about that, but obviously it's nothing really I can do. I haven't even been on my phone, I haven't done anything. Um so thank God I feel so much better. I felt awful yesterday. Um and I was quite annoyed that I didn't have any of my strong tablets. I have like these tablets that were given to me from the doctor last year sometime and I had run out. Um, so that was kind of frustrating, especially on a Sunday as well. So I had to grin and bear the pain and because I couldn't take any other tablets because I was constantly throwing up, every time I had a sip of water I would just be sick. So I couldn't even keep any like ibuprofen or paracetamol, like anything in me. Um, it was just horrendous, it was horrendous. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling so much better. I'm just kind of wide awake and everyone's still in bed, which is a good thing because they don't need to be up with me at this time. But yeah, hopefully today will be a better day. Violet's got a sticky eye. She had a sticky eye yesterday. When I was partially in and out of bed, um, she came in and my mother-in-law also said that she had a sticky eye. So I'm going to see how that is this morning and see if she's okay to go to the nursery. I might keep her off today if she's not feeling 100%. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm sorry about no vlog yesterday. I feel like I was doing so well, got to my two-week mark and then bam, like went downhill. Um... Yeah, so I'll probably see you a bit later when the kids get up and I'm just going to sit here and do some work stuff really. That's pretty much, I'm going to get cracking doing some useful stuff while everybody's asleep and it's quite peaceful actually. It's super dark outside though, obviously for 5am. What to watch at quarter past 5. I am going to do some silly 5am ironing since Sunday is usually my day to get rid of ironing and get it done. So... Yeah, might as well I'll be useful at this silly time in the morning. Um, and then I'll probably hop in the shower for a nice early shower as well. <laughs> might as well. Everyone's still asleep, which is good. I'm just trying to find something to watch. I might watch a film. Boy is up. It's quarter past six. You've been up a little while, haven't you? About, for about 20 minutes, I think. And who came? Two fairies. The two fairies. Have a look at that tooth that's gone. He had an egg bit, a tooth that just didn't want to move. Didn't you? Yeah. And what did you get from the tea fairy? Huh? What did you get from the tea fairy? A pound. A pound. I did request a note from the tea fairy, but obviously that's not going to happen. 
actually what Graham got me um, to relieve the nausea. Got me those, they actually worked really, really well. He didn't get them though till like afternoon, so yeah, they worked though. Yeah, I've had my shower. Um, Graham's just getting up, Violet's still asleep. What's the time? 20 to seven, I think I'm gonna make us some, maybe pancakes or something for breakfast because I've got more time on my hands, you know? I'm just gonna let these dogs out quick. Violet's got sticky eyes again, haven't you? This one, it was this one first, wasn't it? Because still, it still is a bit yucky. But this is transferred overnight to this one, hasn't it? So we keep you off nursery today, yeah? Just in case it's spreadable. Sticky stick sticks, all those gorgeous eyelashes together, isn't it? I'm gonna keep my tea bag because I've had cold tea is good for infected eyes, so we keep that for later. <coughs> yeah, I'm just doing pancakes. First one's never always the best. I did kind of forget about it as well. Sun coming up by. You see it? My pancakes are looking good. Got some they're wholemeal pancakes. Um, I, I ended up putting some bacon in as well because actually um, over the weekend we had bacon, but Graham actually didn't have any pancakes because he was trying to get the work done so we could go to the cinema on Saturday. So he can have a little treat with bacon. And I need to use it up anyway. <clears throat> Hopefully he should get up in a minute because otherwise his tea's gonna go cold. So that is breakfast. Just waiting for daddy to come back in. He's put his car on. Defrosting it. Oh, it's got a drill. <laughs> yeah, so that is breakfast. Alistair. Alex just finishing off. Nice, is it? That's her second pancake, isn't it? Are you growing? Are you stuffed? <laughs> Look at that face. Are you going to nursery? Yeah, you want to go, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think she's fine. I literally just think it's a sticky eye. I don't think it doesn't look infected. It doesn't look red. It just literally is gammy eye. So I think you'll be all right, won't you? Um, and she wants to go anyway. So I've just been doing a little bit of clear up, waiting for little Miss, so I can clear up the rest. It's twenty five past Mommy. seven. Put away some washing, and I also changed your bed, didn't I? Just changed it, and I need to. Hoover the house today with my Hetty. Get round all the nooks and crannies. I need to also change I'm Alistair's bed. You are, you've been on that all morning, Alistair, haven't you? I haven't. Hmm. Thank God he's at school so he doesn't have any of that. I actually just put a whitewash on. Flying for the rescue. Oh, you flying fairy. He's got this flying fairy thing. You got this for your birthday, didn't you? Yeah, Charlotte's got one. Is she, ready? See if I can fly it well. Woo! Oh, it's a bit uh, front heavy, I think. I'm tempted to book myself in for the hairdressers this week and have my hair like a, a like a long bob. What's it called? Bob. Um, yeah, because I think I'm just getting really sick of the length. It's kind of awkward length at the moment, where it's kind of in between the long and the short, and it's just boring. So yeah, I think I might. Have it cut. Huh? You like my bear. Oh wow, you had done some serious drawing on him. <laughs> I love it. A couple of things I need to do this morning. Um, I've just done the school nursery run. Um, it's a bit of a, a chore day today, like usual on a Monday. I need to steam up floors and hoover is the main things really. I hate the floors getting sticky, you know. Um, and then I'm also gonna do a bit of dusting. I actually need to ring my doctor because I'm due for my second smear this year and my birthday was in January and I haven't even had a letter and I really want to get it done like even my friends one of my friends that was 28 in February has already had hers done so like I just feel like they've either forgotten or I don't know and it's just worrying me and I just want to get it done and out of the way you know so um, I'm going to ring my doctor to see when my smear is booked in for um, because obviously I want to get that done. I think I'm going to hoover first. Um, the house isn't too bad to be honest. It just looks a bit dark. The curtain's shut. Okay, I've just done my kitchen. I've just changed the pad over so I can do the bathroom now. My other done. And then we get this bathroom done. While that's all drying, I need to do mirrors and I'm going to dust as well. Um, yeah, and I've got my daffodils. 
I mean, he had them since Wednesday and they're already dead. I'm so disappointed. It was like the worst daffodils I've ever had, I think. Okay, all cleaning has done. I've dusted mirrors and everything. Everything I could think of in the house, I've done. Um, wash should be finished in a minute. I'm actually going to put it on line. First time this year. I can't actually wait to have... It sounds really weird, actually. I can't actually wait to start using the line because I use my tumble dryer like nobody's business. And I think it's because... Um, to get our house fueling, obviously we always need to use the, the burner. So it's really hard to put stuff on the um, tum um, the radiators when it's not necessarily always likely to be on, if that makes sense. I can't just switch it on like a normal conventional, um, you know, when you turn the, the temperature up or thermostat. So um, yeah, I've been using my tumble dryer like crazy. I'm actually gonna wash Alistair's duvet as well because that needs doing and um, it's only a light one. I got they're both their duvet covers are from IKEA and they're really really good actually. Um I think they're like 10.5 tog, which I think that's what we have on ours as well. But um they just machine wash really easily. So that's always good. Um yeah, it's only 20 past 10, so I've just been speeding along. Graham's actually outside fertilizing. Sounds a bit wrong. But yeah, for <laughs> Poo spraying, <laughs> poo spraying the grass. The, the the field that I was rolling, not last week, the week before, he's now spraying it with poo. He kind of goes around the tractor and it kind of releases it and it helps the grass grow better for when we turn out the cows. Um, because I can't believe it's already getting to the time where we can turn out the cows soon, which is kind of exciting. They've been in the yard for a few months now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think I might get myself a quick snack and then, um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do actually. I'm heading out in the sunshine. Got some more pegs because they always kind of deteriorate, don't they? Over the year. Puppy's out. Good run, yeah! My line. <laughs> Hello. You sit. Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Are you smiling? back in I'm gonna tackle Violet's drawer because as you can see it's pretty overrun she's got some new socks you know when they just like she wears a mixture of her socks to nursery and some of them get manky and some of them are okay you know um, and some of them are just too small for her now so I need to um, go through a lot of this even like pajamas and she's got a ridiculous amount of tights look at these tights okay well that has made me happier just sorting it out um, basically put her swim stuff in here with her armbands at the back, new pair of socks, and then also just the, the summery socks. These are like little sports socks from last year, and they still will fit her. And it's only a couple, so I thought I'd put them at the back because it's not really that sort of weather for them yet. Her hair stuff's here, and then these are like nursery socks. She likes wearing long, thick socks to nursery because she wears wellies most of the time. And then this is basically a tub full of um, tights. <laughs> she has a ridiculous amount. A lot of these actually are too big at the moment. So they'll be great for winter. And then this is the everyday socks. The older ones at the bottom, but still fit her. And the newer ones at the top. And then pyjamas. And uh, we've got some like um, summery pyjamas as well. Shorts and t-shirts. Sometimes she likes to wear those if she gets too hot. And then her pants and her vests. So yeah, how much better does that look? And I can actually close the door. The Alice's isn't as bad actually. Um, he has a good amount. I might go through his socks actually because there's definitely some socks in here that he can't wear anymore. I think these ones might be too small. Um, but generally, pyjamas wise, I think we're alright actually. I'm actually going to have one of these giant crumpets. Everyone else is eating the rest and there's only one left so I'm going to have this for lunch. They are pretty huge. We'll see if it tastes as good as the original ones. It's actually a bit early for lunch being only 10 past 11 but seeing as I've barely eaten in the last couple of days, I need to fuel my body. <laughs> Tried this over the weekend and oh my god, it's amazing. I nearly ate half the tub. Just I was just like spooning it in my mouth and thinking, whoa, and I nearly I just thought, well I better stop. But yeah, really good. I would definitely buy it again. I'm actually gonna have a little bit of marmite on my crumpets. I'm the only one in the house that likes marmite. 
and what it looks like when it's toasted. It looks pretty good. I'm actually going to make a smoothie. I was going to have the yogurt and then I thought, actually, I haven't had a smoothie in ages. So, and I could do with some fruit in my body and stuff. So I'm going to have dark cherries and bananas and spinach. And I'm going to use a tablespoon of cacao as well, which is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, some of that as well. And yeah. Since I don't usually watch um, TV, I'm probably going to just catch up on some YouTube videos <clears throat> and just chill out for a bit. My throat feels so yucky though. Oh, just constant like phlegmy and oh, I can't wait for that to go because I actually feel okay myself. A little bit of a cold, but like nothing crazy. Like I can't get on with my life, you know. Um, but yeah, just the yuckiness at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if Graham's going to come back for lunch. It's not even half past 11. <laughs> Here's the little piggies. Are they out? The cheeky pigs. Hey. The cheeky piggies. Yeah. Come on, pigs. Out again. <laughs> Are you scared of them? Oh, is that? Oh, look. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Look at that. I've just put out a second load of washing. Feeding time. Oh, you can't get in. Hey. Oh, yeah, there they come. <laughs> That's how they're getting in. Lunch time. Nope, they want mamas. I'm off on the school and it's surprising how time flies. I was just like outside of Graham for over an hour without even realizing it anyway. Um, so yeah, off to get Alistair and then off to get by. We're back from the school run. It's, well, it's four o'clock. <laughs> I'm actually meal planning, that's what I'm doing. The kids have just gone outside to play and I've just been sat uh, meal planning. <laughs> Why? Yay! Alistair's up there. Over. Doesn't matter. They're nursery clothes anyway. It's just a little bit. Yeah. They're not nursery clothes, they're our clothes. Her eyes are fine. Let's have a look at your eyes. They're totally fine, aren't they? Yeah. Actually, before she went off to nursery, I uh, wiped her eyes with cold tea bags. Yeah. And I think that truly did the job, honestly, because they're totally fine now. There's no, they said they didn't even have any gunk or anything all day, and they look perfectly normal now, so I'm happy about that. So I am doing dinner, I'm just cracking up, I've actually had you on charge. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're doing smoky barbecue fajitas um, for dinner and then I added a mixed, like, stir fry mix, I suppose, in, into it. Um, so yeah, it sounds really good, I'm actually really looking forward to dinner. And some corn on the cob as well. Um, and then we've also got these corn tortillas. Um, the, Alistair's in now, he's just on his Nintendo. He's been on that thing a lot today. I know he's been at school, but you know, you just think, hmm. He he goes through phases though, because for one week he won't he won't touch it. And then for another week he'll be playing with it like constantly. He's definitely like in and out of phases with that thing. Um, but Violet's actually in the garden with the dogs. <laughs> she loves just spending time with them and talking to them and that sort of thing, so she's happy out there anyway. Um, it's quarter to five. I'm sorry you've seen this rough looking face all day, but I just thought, what's the point in putting makeup on if I'm really not going anywhere? I haven't really seen anybody, like even on school run, I swear I haven't seen any of my friends today. I don't know where they are. Um, so yeah, I'm not really doing much else. I'm still kind of like going through my meal plan. Sometimes it just takes me a few days just to like figure out what we're gonna have. You know, I've been looking at my freezer and Asking Graham what he's got down the farm so he can bring some stuff back, you know. Hello. Here's some water for the dog. Oh, good girl. I just thought you tipped it out. I saw you. Tidied up kitchen. It's like ten past six. I've just made Alistair's bed as well. Although Graham and Alistair have decided to snuggle on the sofa with this duvet. Warming it up. That's <gasps> me. Did they? Yeah. Are you looking at old photos? That's me! Is it? Nursery? Aww. 